The following video is sponsored by InstantMaddenCoins.com. The only place to get Madden Coins instantly on every console and platform is InstantMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 17 Ultimate Team video. And guys, it's Monday, which means we have brand new Team of the Week items in packs, including the card that you see on your screen, a 92 Bobby Wagner. Now, this is probably the best middle linebacker in the game right now. I know a lot of people are going to mention the Urlacher, especially considering it has the most feared, uh, you know, the chemistry and things like that to it. And, and it also has the chemistry that makes it so it basically never drops user picks. But I'm telling you, this Bobby Wagner is nasty. When you look at the combination that it has of like speed and strength and the block shedding and everything like that, that card is absolutely dirty. So we're definitely going to be looking to get the Bobby Wagner. Uh, we're going to try and pull packs for it today. We've also got some other really nice ones in here today as well. We've got Andrew Luck and Dr Dominic Rogers Cromartie, which are your heroes for the week. Um, so you're definitely going to be able to actually, uh, you know, go in and try and, and uh, get the cards to create those. Now, Dominic Rogers Cromartie and Andrew Luck are both going for about 170000 to 190000 um, depending on the time of the day that you're looking at them. My opinion is luck is probably not worth it. Now, Dominic Rogers Cromartie, on the other hand, I think that if you have the coins to spend, that might not be a bad option for some of you out there that are looking to, uh, you know, get that uh, the high-end cornerbacks and things like that. So uh, definitely want to go in there and try those out. Now, I've got a couple of different random things here that I want to actually uh, go through here and open up. I still have some random BCA offensive elite players and uh, an offensive BCA pack. So we're going to open those up because, like I said, I... I Totally forgot that I even had these things. Uh, so we're going to open those up. It's kind of a little bonus at the beginning of today's video. We've also got an all pro pack here. We've got a most feared starter pack. And then we're also going to go through and rip some pro packs to try and pull uh, the offensive and defensive players from today's uh, sets that came out. So with that said, why don't we start things off here with the most feared pack. I don't think that a whole lot of great stuff is probably going to come out of this. But uh, it's worth it to at least go in and take a look at it. So we get a treat and yeah some um you know some basic collectibles so uh not really a whole lot out of that but that's totally fine um looks like well never mind i think that was the the pack that we already opened you know how this game is it's so weird um we've also got a random tide girly there but let's do the uh, other packs here the bca packs see if we can get anything decent out of these eh, not anything there that's fine all right, the elite players, though. This is where we should get something decent. Hopefully, we can get some good players here. We get a Drew Brees. Okay, he's an 87 overall. I know he's not the best, but that's at least better than nothing for sure. Uh, and we've still got one more here. So, let's see what we can get out of this one. And can we get a Larry Fitzgerald? We get a Lamar Miller, who I think is probably one of the lower ones that you can get. Lamar Miller is actually having a very good uh, season so far. I mean, at least for the most part, he's had a couple of down games. But um, So, we got Drew Brees and a Lamar Miller. We'll probably end up selling both of those, but that's all right. Now, we'll go through and we'll open up this all-pro pack here. This is where I'm hoping that we can get one of the Team of the Weeks. Because uh, I don't really know what the hell else we're going to do. And right off the bat, we get a Football Outsiders Elite Jermon Bushrod, so that is actually a pretty damn beast pull to start things off here. I know this isn't the highest, most expensive card, but hey, it's a free pack that I got from, uh, I, I forget even how I got these all pro packs, but uh, yeah, we get those every week. We get like one, I don't know, it probably won't be going for too much longer, but nice to get a Football Outsiders Elite right away. That's probably the, I think that's definitely the full, first one that I've pulled in any pack this year. Get a Kobe Fleener there. Maybe we get some better luck coming for us. And we get an elite here, and we get it is a Calias Campbell flashback uh, collectible. So kind of interesting there. I don't, I don't know what kind of uh, value this has to it, but hey, it's at least nice to get those fire elite pulls. You know what I'm saying? So two elites out of our all pro pack. That's definitely a good sign, man. So we're gonna go through here. We're gonna open up some more pro packs. See if we can get any of those team of the weeks. Uh, because like I said, man, there are some really nice cards. Oh, the other one that I wanted to mention. I don't know if you guys have seen this card. I'm gonna go quick go through here and um, pull it up because this is one that I think a lot of people should really consider putting on their team. Now, this is a guy who you're gonna wanna use your control. If you use your control, your middle linebacker, I really, really like this card that came out. Uh, hopefully there'll be one of them on the auction block here anyway, so I don't look like a complete idiot we'll see let's see here go to overall oh that wait never mind i think this is that it is that the card maybe it is yeah it is okay so this is this this week's card just looked a little bit weird to me there for some reason but 
There it is. It has 88 speed. This is a middle linebacker, guys, with, with 88 speed. That's actually the same speed, and it actually has one higher, I believe, acceleration than the Bobby Wagner that's going for like 800,000 coins that's in packs right now. So, I mean, definitely a very, very nice card to user control. It does have some, some limitations, I will say that, but it has some really nice attributes as well. If you're somebody that leaves it in pass coverage, you could potentially just drop off of him and let him do his own pass coverage because he's definitely one of the best middle linebackers when it comes to man coverage and zone coverage. Look at that zone coverage man 86 for zone coverage and like I said he's got the speed he's faster than most wide receivers in this game at 88 speed with good acceleration as well so you look at that along with the man coverage being a 77 he's not just going to get toasted even by wide receivers and especially by tight ends in coverage so that's always a very good thing also the, like I said the zone coverage is very good on this card as well um Pursuit is solid. The problem with this card is that it doesn't really have anything for pass rushing. You look at those power moves and finesse moves, they're pretty much terrible. You don't want to blitz this card unless it's coming off the edge and it does not need to be engaged in a block. Or uh, And then also, obviously, the Pursuit, like I said, um, it does help with the run, but the problem is that his block shedding is only a 79. That is not very good for, the, for stopping the run. So you're probably going to want to use your control most of the time, I would say. But if you know it's going to be a passing situation and you want to use your control somebody else, like a safety or somebody like that, at least he can do his, he can hold his own in pass coverage for sure. He's one of the best uh, pass coverage linebackers in this game. So um, it's definitely something to look at. Also the 92 hit power on that thing. So he can do some, uh, some damage and lay the boom when he needs to. So I uh, just wanted to show you guys that. He also actually, interestingly enough, has good press, although I can't really think of any scenarios where you would need to utilize that. But you guys probably know um, he did come from actually playing safety for the Cardinals in previous years. So, um, yeah, it's it's a card that I always look for. When they put out the superlatives one last year, I was definitely all over that card. So, uh, yeah, again, highly, highly recommend that one. Now, let's go back in here and let's open up some packs. Now, normally, I would consider opening up uh, a Team of the Week pack, especially considering you get a Most Feared player and two Team of the Week players. So maybe we'll do that at the very end. <laughs> I don't know. I know it's a bad investment, but like all that I need to do is pull one of the really good ones, and then I'll be pretty happy. Um, chances are that we won't, but it might be worth it to at least give it a shot, you know? So maybe we'll do that at the end. But for now, let's just open up some... Let's just be consistent here let's just open up some pro packs and uh try and get this thing uh pop in here come on man let's go we got elites in our first pack so so that was definitely nice out of the uh the all pro packs so we get a dennis pitta there not a great start but again we're gonna open up like i don't know let's open up like 10 of them at least and then we'll uh wrap it up with the team of the week pack i think <laughs> i don't know if i pull something amazing maybe we won't do the team of the week pack if I somehow pull the Bobby Wagner or something like that, that would be amazing. We get a Barry Church there, so again, not a great pack. But uh, I want to hear from you guys, man. Are you guys having better pack luck? Because I know a lot of people, and myself included, were pretty damn fed up with uh, Madden's pack odds here over the past couple of weeks. So it's nice to see that at least I've been pulling. I pulled a couple elites. Um, we got the collectible, so it's not really like a usable player, but at least it's a collectible out of that one pack. And then also the um, Football Outsiders player as well. So, I mean, that's actually better pack odds than what I would normally get out of those all pro packs as we get a Sean Williams there. So, so far the pro packs, not really anything different, just kind of low to mid 70 overall players so far. Hopefully we can get at least one or two Team of the Week players. That would be great. And let's see if we can get one here. Nope, Ryan Shazier, though. I definitely like Ryan Shazier. If you're looking for like a, a low price budget middle linebacker and somebody like the Dion Buchanan who's fast and agile, but I think he's actually even a little bit better against the run, maybe not quite as good against the pass, that Ryan Shazier is a pretty nice card. I think most people know that by now, that Shazier's cards are pretty damn good for Madden, especially for user controlling. So we get a Sterling Moore there and a Jeremy Atachu. So uh, two golds in this pack at least, but uh, still not anything great so far as far as usable players go we've really only gotten the one uh and that's even really kind of borderline to be honest with you with the offensive linemen but all right we'll do like let's do four more packs and then uh we'll wrap it up with that team of the week pack so we get an eric weddle there and yeah just not anything out of these so pro packs have been kind of dry so far let's see if we can make it happen here with these final couple of packs three more guys let's go 
Come on, one, we just need one good pull, man. We just need the one good pull as we get an Anquan Bolden, like probably the worst shitty receiver that you can get. Other than the fact that he's a good run blocker, but other than that, he is just terrible in pretty much everything. I think he might have good catch in traffic or something like that, but like his speed is just horrendous. So it's pretty much unusable at this point in the game already. And we get a Ladarius Webb there right out of the pack to begin. Let's do one more pro pack, guys, and then we'll wrap it up here with that team of the week pack. So let's go baby come on one team of the week player out of a pro pack would be great we're gonna go from the back this time i know a lot of people like to have me do that for better luck and we get an antrell roll there and we get a blair walsh who was freaking horrible this year and last year but uh two two golds out of this pack anyway so anyway guys we did not pull anything on the pro pack side of things but we do still have this most feared team of the week pack so with that being said guys let's let's risk it man let's go for it Seventy thousand coins I first of all want to point out, I would not recommend that you do this. This is a bad idea. Just doing it for video purposes. This is probably going to be a bad investment. Even if it's not, like, it's still a bad investment. Even if it doesn't, if it ends up being a, a good profitable thing for me, if I somehow pull the Bobby Wagner or something, um, I still would not recommend doing this. It's just for fun. So let's do it, guys. I got 800. I'm going to have still 800,000 uh, coins after this. And then I'll still have stuff to sell. So get an Andy that, uh, gosh. Janovich, I don't know how, why I couldn't pronounce that. Uh, Rob Ninkovich, okay. Kyrie Robinson. Jacob Tammy, come on. Let's go elite. And we get a Leonard Floyd as our team of the week. Are you kidding me, dude? Uh, come on. Elite, yes. It is a Rodney McLeod Jr. So, we do pull an elite team of the week player at least. Uh, not actually that bad of a player either. If you go in and look at the attributes here, 86 speed, not the best, but he does have really nice zone coverage at a 90, 88 for a play recognition, 90 for acceleration. So he's actually pretty damn beast here. He also has the deep defender trait or the chemistry. So he can actually go over there and, uh, win more jump balls, which is, as you probably know, extremely important, especially if you're leaving him deep on like a cover two or something like that cover four, where he needs to defend the ball deep and he might be in single cover. This is a card that has a better opportunity to do that. So uh, definitely a nice pull. I don't think it's going to make it worth our uh, coins for this thing. But still, uh, you know, we got a couple of decent players out of it. Happy to pull an elite. Like, I, beggars can't be choosers at this point, man. So we do get an elite team of the week pull. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, though. If you did, please do me a favor and drop a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Guys, we've got more videos coming this week. I know it's been a little bit of a break here. A little bit frustrated with Madden, I'm not going to lie to you, but we're definitely coming back to it, and we're going to have videos for you every day this week. So be on the lookout for it. Thank you guys so much for all the support. Hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.